We finally did it. We completed the Joja Mart bundle. We'll also be checking out the desert and learning about all the cool secrets it may have. Also, we will be learning about Mr. Key and completing his challenges. This is part nine of our challenge. The rules are in the description. And now let's begin. Oh, Bruh. and only a few of you guys are actually subscribed, so a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. Alrighty, guys, who's ready to go to the desert today? Ah, plum pudding. Okay. Ah, we have a cutscene with Pierre. Hello there, Grant. So your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive as next year. Uh, I never bought anything from you, dude. Pretty sure you don't know what's going on in your own life. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Guess what? I don't care. Shut up. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Get off my property before I go in the back. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor seeds. Pierre seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. See, I don't care if that's a promise because I don't buy my stuff from you. Get off my property right now. Get off my lawn! Oh, tomorrow is the Festival of Ice. Okay. And at the Festival of Ice tomorrow, we can actually buy the stuff straight from the traveling cart. So Pierre doesn't sell anything. So if we want something, we can buy it. So after we get these chores done, we're going to go check the traveling cart and see if she has anything good. And then we'll go to the desert. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff in here today. Okay. Ah, there's some more oak resin. So we can actually make another keg. Okay. We'll need that for our star fruit that we're going to plant. This is starting to come along pretty nice. Hello. What do you got today? Poppy seeds, cave carrot, potato, tulip peach sapling but it's forty five hundred dollars if it was a little bit cheaper i think we would get it the musmaru painting if i can pronounce that right it looks like motel art that's why this is motel art and that's it okay yeah nothing we need okay hello pam yes i'd like to go for 500 bucks please did you see pierre and run him over too ah i see some artifacts on the ground maybe we can get something we don't have yet oh we got a warp totem to the beach okay in a palm fossil all right. Ooh, some cactus fruit. Oh, hello, dude. What do you got? Artifact trove or totem. Oh, that magic cowboy hat. I don't want to be a cowboy. I would love to have that. 333 Omni Geodes. Okay. Ooh, a golden mask. Okay. Coconut. Hello. Ah, a customer. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. You got that right. I am so happy. Me too, because I can buy star fruit seeds from you. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get three cactus seeds. We're gonna need beets so we can put those in Mayor Lewis's refrigerator for a quest. So we'll just get 20 of those and then we'll spend the rest of our money on the star fruit seeds. We got 12, okay. Which trust me, when that turns into wine, we will be making some really, really good money. Or if we can catch anything good in here. Ah, sandfish, okay, that was cool. We're not going in here, we're just putting the key in so we can finish that quest. Okay, perfect. All right, so we actually don't have to take the bus back. We can just go to the beach like this. Ooh, an Nautilus shell. Yeah, so we got some stuff for Clint to open up, and we have some artifacts for Gunther, so we can head over there and do that stuff. Hello, Clint. I got some geodes. Can you open them up for me? Okay. <gasps> yes, a Iridium Ore. Okay. Well, it was worth that one piece. I think we can make another bar now. All right, let's donate this stuff. Here, I got this golden mask and this palm. Nope. Nothing, we didn't unlock anything. Okay, we should be getting close though. And it's Sunday, so we can give gifts out again. Let's go ahead and give these to Shane, and then we gotta find our girlfriend and give her a pumpkin. There she is, where are you going? You going to see your real dad, the wizard? I'm looking forward to making snowman tomorrow. Oh, okay. Only half a heart left, and let's give Shane a pepper too. Really close with him as well. Oh wow, how'd you know it's my favorite? I think I might be gaining weight. Yeah, you might wanna lose that then. Fat pig. Okay, so yeah, that cactus fruit turns into cactus seeds, so we didn't actually have to use that. All right, let's go ahead and plant all this stuff. This should be fun. All right, we got all that planted. Now, just the waiting game. All right, pretty decent day. Let's see how much money we got. 3,700 gold? Okay, we'll take it. Oh, we have Gunther here. Hey, good morning, Mr. Grant. I hope it's not too early. I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered, and you've done so much for one person. In fact, I just received a letter from the office of the Regional Secretary of Artifact. We're being honored with coveted Golden Shovel with award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Oh, thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's sealed in the museum vault for at least a hundred years. It's a little rusty, but it's still beautiful. Oh, is it the sewer? 
Yes. Finally get a void egg. We got to check that out. Mr. Key. Mr. Anderson. I see you've entered the school cavern. Well done. I got a letter challenge for you. Make it at least level 25 levels deep. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how hard it will be when we go to the mines to actually get down to level 25. We might have to do it and not bring anything. So if we lose stuff, it won't matter. I think that's how we're going to have to do it. Because <laughs> I know it's going to be hard for a while. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Got one more day on our star fruits for some of them. Okay. Oh, the festival of ice has begun. We're going to head over there. Oh, I just found a strange doll. I chopped on the ground here and found it. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got down here. Oh, hello, Elliot. I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? It's a rare that Willie ever loses, though. Oh, yeah, I think I can fix that. If it was up to me, I'd probably have pizza festival at the saloon instead. That sounds cool. Dude, can you please go away? What do you think of my snow goon? It's nice. I like it. Can you get out of here, bro? This snow now so cool, I can't feel my fingers anymore. Hopefully they fall off. Yeah, hey, you <laughs> Toby, you gonna eat all that dog food yourself? Wow, the snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? Probably Clint. Are oh, you gonna win today, Willie? Yes, and I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Will she? Yeah, where's the traveling cart at? Here she is. Ah, so we can buy a thing that says frozen dream. A winter dining table actually looks pretty cool. Cranberry sauce. Huh, it helps with mining. Okay, we'll get that. Ooh, pumpkin soup. It gives us extra luck as well. We might save that stuff for the skull cavern, actually. Because I know we can do a buff of all of it, so okay. All right, Lewis, let's do this. Welcome to the Festival of Ash. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your first fish here from these holes in ice. Well, is everyone ready? Yeah. Begin. Why don't, why do I have to move? All right, we got one. Okay, we got two. All right, we got three. All right, we got four. I think we can do it. I think we can. All right, we got five. Can we get one more? All right, let's see if we did it. Well, that's a lot of fish. Ugh, smell. Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Grant with five big slimy fish. Aha. Screw you, Willie. I got it. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Ooh, a sailor's cap, a dress spinner, barbed hook, and a magnet. Thank you. That's actually worth it. Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Now, let's release these poor fish. That was a lot of fun. I'm better than you, Willie. Let's see how much money we got from today. 3,700 gold? Okay. I think today we will try the school caverns, but we're not going to bring anything, so that way if we pass out, we don't lose anything too valuable. I found this recipe in a magazine. I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. <laughs> Strange bun. Okay. Okay. Oh, lots of fruit in here. We'll take that fruit and use it for us in the cavern. We got some star fruit. Okay. Lots of coffee beans too. And now that we can buy star fruit anytime over in the desert, you don't have to worry about putting it in the seed maker really anymore. I don't care. Let's throw these star fruits in the kegs. All right. I think we're ready to attempt this. Okay. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> well, that's some good luck. There's one right here. Okay. A jade. I'm a snake. Ah, oh, he dropped a bomb. Okay. Ooh, some topaz over here. Uh-oh, these things are coming after me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's go. There we go. We got stairs right at the good time. Oh, man. Okay, lots of gold. gold all in my chain. Ah, found a ruby. Oh, this one dropped a steel fashion. 28 to 46 damage. And this one has better crit power. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use this sword now. Okay, awesome. I wonder the likelihood of it dropping that. All right. Ah, dropped an omni geode. Okay. All right, made it to level five. Ah, a secret tunnel. Seven levels. Ooh, ah, some stairs. Oh, look at stairs just right in the open. Okay. Oh, look, another secret tunnel. Five levels. Okay. We're actually pretty close, but you know what? We're going to get out of here because I'm about to die in there. So not bad. Okay. For our first time doing it, got to level 19. I mean, it doesn't save our progress, but hey, I'll take it. We got some cool geodes and stuff too. All right, let's head back. And we got a bunch of Omni geodes for Clint to open up tomorrow too. It was cool that we got a new sword in there too. That was really nice. All right. Pretty good day. Let's see how much money we made off of it. All right, 3,700 gold. I'll take it. It's all right. I didn't say I. Let's try to make some good money today, too. So we're going to go in the sewers, see if we can get a void egg. That'd be nice. Yeah, our greenhouse is coming along very well. I like it. All right, let's head over to Clint's and get these geodes opened up, and then we'll donate that little strange thing to Gunther. <laughs> Hello, bud. I got some geodes. Can you open them up for me, please? Yeah! Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
All right, not too bad. All right, Gunther, I got this little strange doll for you. It's not a doll, it's an action figure. There you go. All right, let's check out the sewer. I know if we do this cave patrol, we unlock the crystallarium, so we're gonna do this. We need to say, slay 50 of any monsters. Slay 50 of any monsters. Slay 50 of any monsters. We're probably gonna do those dust sprites because those pop up the most and they're the easiest to kill. So we're gonna do that after we look here in the sewers. There's Mr. Krobus. How are you? A human visitor. This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Find things here and I sell them. Care to buy anything? Yep. We will take one void egg, please. Oh, it's only 20,000 for a star drop. You know we're gonna save up for that. Thank you, man. All right, let's head back to the house and put this void egg inside of the incubator so we can try to get some void mayonnaise now too. So it takes about five days for that to incubate all the way through. Okay. We need to finish this goal of slaying those monsters. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's start with level 40. What's this way we can get some free iron, right? Okay. I hear those little zealots over here somewhere. Stop again, zealots! Oh, look at this one. It has a weird thing on its head. What is it? Oh, a magnet ring. Okay. Oh, look, an aquamarine geode. Okay. Oh, a dwarf scroll. Okay. Wow, look at all this iron. This was a really nice level. Oh, dropped a wooden mallet. Oh, cool. A jade. All right, pretty decent in the mines. We're going to head back to the farm. Got a lot of iron from that. Okay, so I just looked on the wiki what grubs are, and we were killing the wrong things. Okay, so we're going to have to go back there and, yeah, fix that. <laughs> I'm a victim of circumstance. All right, 3,700 gold, I'll take it. Okay, we got some iron bars ready. Yeah, so when I looked on the wiki, I thought it said, oh, you could just slay any of them, but I guess if he asked specifically for one type of the stuff, like dust sprites or those grubs, for instance, we have to slay those. So we wasted that day of not getting anything, so. You are one pathetic loser. Oh, wow, lots of stuff today again. These beats only got two more days. Bears, beats, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head over to Clint's and get some of these geodes opened as well. All right, Clint, got some geodes. Can you open them up for me really quick, bud? He ain't got that dope. Okay. All right. Idiot. Okay. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, we're going to head in the mines and try to finish this objective for Clint. These little things right here. Those are the little zealots we got to kill. Like I said, guys, you know I'm not the smartest. Found some topaz in that box over there. Oh, I see some up here. Sweet. Three of them. Dropped a rice chute. Three more down here. Yeah, this floor had a bunch of them. Nice. So far, we've gotten 21 out of 50. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. It says this area is infested. That's what we needed. All right, not too bad. We got 33 out of 50 for the day. That's really good, especially since we messed up the first day. <laughs> we should be able to get it by tomorrow. All right, very good day. Let's see how much money we made. 5,400 gold. Awesome. All right, traveling carts in town. We'll have to see if she has anything good. I'm researching a forgotten art shadow deviation or void essence. Mr. Wizard, we can do that. We have a void essence. All right, let's check the traveling cart and then we'll give this stuff over to the wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Hello, do you have anything good today? Tom Ka Soup. Tea sapling, that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, if we didn't have our friendship already, this would have been a good one, but oh well. Thank you though. Here you go, Buster. All right, let's have Clint open up these geodes. Hello. Okay. <laughs> All right, and we can give some of this stuff to Gunther too. And then we'll go back up to the mines and try to complete that challenge. Ooh, an aquamarine, okay. Here we go, finally found one. Ah, oh, I found some amethyst. Yeah, I think because we have good luck today, they're not gonna spawn as much. So we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here for now. I think we only killed like two or three of them, to be honest. Yeah, one, ah! one of them. <laughs> not even two or three, just one. Oh, there's Abigail. Hey, I got this for you. Oh, I seriously love this. You're the best. Best friends. Oh yeah, I would say we're a little bit more than best friends now. And Shane, I got this for you too. All right, pretty decent day. We're gonna head back to the farm and uh, see how much money we got off of everything. 3,700 gold. I feel like that's the average we've been making every single day, which is good. Oh yeah, we have to get the mermaid's pendant. Okay, cool. And our beats are done. Okay, time to mess with Mayor Lewis. I think we'll go to the desert and buy some more star fruit. What do you think? All right, we're gonna head over to the bus stop, buy some more of those star fruit seeds, and then we'll head back to the mines, and that way we can try to get that challenge done for Clint. Hello. All right, let's spend pretty much all of our money on these star fruit seeds. All right, about 35 of them. That way we have a little bit of extra money, just in case. All right, let's try going in the mines and seeing if we can complete this challenge, hopefully. Okay, this one has a bunch of them. All right, we got six just from this one little area today so far. Oh, here we go. This is four of them right here. Hey, that was the last one. We did it. 6,000 gold. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, I needed that. All right, we'll head back to the farm and we'll plant the rest of these star fruit seeds. Oh, cutscene of Abigail. Okay, where are you going? 
<gasps> oh no, bat. <laughs> She's laughing at it. What, what are all those bats? What are they doing? You okay? Are you okay, Abigail? Great, I'm all right. You know, I've been practicing my swordsmanship for a while. Well, I decided today I'd be the day I'd venture into the caves, but I got scared. I couldn't do it. I guess I'm not as tough as I thought. You're safe with me. Okay. Grant, I... I really like you, and not just as a friend. You know that, right? Of course I do. Girl, you know I got game. I got that riz. Stop it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I can't keep it in anymore. I felt this way for a long time. Spill the beans, girl. You don't have to say anything right now. Let's just stay here for a little while. Aww. That's enough to make a grown man cry. Game over. <laughs> That was a very nice cutscene. All right, really good day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day and see how much money we ranked in. Like I said, we've always been at least over 3,000 gold, so I don't know. That's good. Oh, we learned how to make a chocolate cake. Did someone say cake? Oh, it was the Geode Crusher. Oh, not the Crystallarium. Hey, that's okay though. Starting tomorrow, there's gonna be the night market at 5 p.m. Yeah, we can get some good seeds over there too. Found a warp totem to the beach, okay. That little void egg is still in there. Gonna be a couple of more days, I think. Ah, I got another oak resin, so that means we can make another keg, which is awesome, because we need a ton of kegs for these star fruits. I know I keep saying it, but you'll see how much money we make, you'll see. All right, we're gonna check out the traveling cart, see what she has. Yam, hello. Oh, how are you? Parsnip seeds? No. Pine tar. Puffer fish. Why do you have five of those? Fairy seeds? Okay. Yeah, I don't really need any of this for now. Thank you, though. Whoa. Here you go, bud. Honestly, probably one more present and he'll have full hearts with us. Hello, Elliot. I really should scrub my floorboards today. I think an algae is starting to form. Do you make time for cleaning? Yes, I do. Don't talk to me, bro. Hey, I want to see if I can kiss her right in front of Pierre. This will make him really mad. What? Hey, I made these two drawings. What do you think? I like the orc with the battle axe. I'm glad it's embarrassing to share your art with others, but I think you and I are on the same page. Aw, I can't kiss her in front of him. Yeah, bro, I'm about to marry your daughter and you are not invited to the wedding. I guess we can start that Mr. Chi challenge by putting the battery pack inside of the tunnel. Let's go ahead and start that so we can unlock that area where the bouncer is at. Let's go ahead and do this and uh, it should trigger the event. It worked. Bring a rainbow shell to the train platform. Okay, I do have one of those. Yeah, I knew we had to save one. <laughs> I just couldn't remember what it was for, but I knew we did. <laughs> I wonder if Pam drives that bus drunk all the time. I think it goes in this one, if I'm not mistaken. 10 beats. Only 10. Okay. Let's go to Mayor Lewis and put these beats inside of his house. <gasps> He's gonna be so bad. <laughs> like, what if you just open it up and you're like, why is there 10 beats? <laughs> inside of your refrigerator. You're just be like, what is going on? Like, I'm not even mad. I'm just, how did this happen? Now, if they're rotten, I would be mad. But you're just like, no, Grant, there's just beats inside here. Like, oh, hello. Ah! Give the sand dragon his last meal. We can't do that sand dragon task just yet because Pam wants to get her booze. And we have a solar essence to give that dragon. One diamond, 50 stones, and two gold bars. Wow. <laughs> to make a geode crusher? But then we don't have to go to Clint's anymore, I guess. All right, let's put on the next day and we can go to the night market. That'll be fun. 4,700 gold. All right. We're actually pretty close to unlocking the panning. We need like a thousand more gold or something like that. Close to it. Yeah. One more day in that void chicken and we'll be out of his little incubator. And I think we're also gonna have the star fruit wine ready tonight, so I'll show you how much that goes for. All right, I'm taking the solar essence. We're gonna head up to the desert and give it to that monster. Monsters. Take me to the desert, please. Oh, I found a golden relic. You've proven yourself, kid. Check the pile of lumber next to your house. Awesome, we got the little card, so we can actually go inside of the little area inside the oasis where that bouncer's at. We can actually get in there now. Another golden relic. Why Why did I just find three golden relics over here today? What is going on? A golden mask? All right, all right, we'll head back. That way we can donate this stuff to to Gunther and get this other geode opened up from Clint. Process this geode for me, man. <laughs> Poop. What's up, dude? I got some stuff for you. There you go. There's a lot of trash. Okay. Yeah, we could do that one. The best place to do it is right by your house, honestly. Yeah, so if you go in like this little pond right here, it usually only has trash. See? A few minutes later. All right, and we just completed that. Didn't take us too long, so now we just gotta drop those off in the bin. But we'll head down to the night market and check that out. And what's really cool about the night market is the guy down there offers you free coffee every single day, which is cool. Oh, Shane's down here. I'm taking the night off from the saloon for Jess's sake. That's good, man. I think this boat's my favorite. It's so unique, so mysterious. I love it. Hey. 
Oh, you have like a bunch of candy canes and stuff like that. Different plants. Okay. Hello, I like my free coffee, please. Thank you. That's the night fishing. We could always try that. Ooh, that's a cool painting. Hello. See what the night market person has. Pufferfish, herring, cave carrot, coconut, beer, fiddled head risotto. A fiddle's worth, sir. A gold bar, birch. Okay. You have some of the weirdest stuff, lady. Let's see. This guy always has something too, right? A cone hat. Who are you calling pinhead? I mean, we already maxed out our farming, so I don't really need to buy that right now. Yeah, pretty cool night market, but we're going to head back and try to drop off this stuff. Hopefully we have enough time for it. Oh, we have a cutscene of Linus. Oh, okay. What's up, buddy? Right, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Okay. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Aw. I wanted to say sorry for mistreating you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. It's okay, man. I understand. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person, and I consider you a good friend. Well, I consider you a good friend, too, man. Hey, I wanted to show you something. Come and try it. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Oh, yes. Wild bait. Thank you so much, Linus. Oh, here we go. We did it. Gave us 500 gold for that. He didn't have to do that, but thank you. Alrighty, looks like some of our star fruit wine is done. Let me show you how much these rank in a piece. 3,100 gold a piece. So just those two wines, $6,300 right there. All right, let's put on the next day and we're gonna make a ton of money. 11,000 gold, holy cow. Wow, you must be rich. We have 29,000 gold, okay. Well, we're gonna buy the panning, unlock that. Thanks for helping me clean up around the valley. The waters are looking much cleaner. I think everyone will appreciate it. I know I will. As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you how to grow your own fiber. Hope it's useful. Thanks, man. A new chick hatch. It looks odd. We'll name it Red. Hello, little guy. You are a weird looking little chicken. Look at how tiny you are. All right, we got another piece of star fruit. We're going to throw that into the keg. Oh, yeah, I forgot to grab the little card. Got it. All right, we're going to head over to Jojimart. We're going to buy the panning, so that'll be the last thing unlocked. And then we'll give Shane this pepper, and maybe that'll reach him all the way up, too. And that leveled him up all the way. Awesome. And we just completed the entire Jojamart bundle. Excellent. We'll get our workers on it tonight. It should be ready for you by tomorrow. All right, we did it. That was awesome. I am super, super excited. I'm just extremely happy. Can you tell by my face? I can't believe we finished it before the end of year one, too, as well. Yeah, and the next thing we're going to do, too, is buy this star drop from Krobus, because it's only 20,000, so about another 10,000 more, we'll have it. All right, we're going to go to the desert, and we're going to try to go and use our card and play in the back. Maybe win something? That'd be cool. All right, bought 10 more star fruits, and I accidentally bought two beets, so... <laughs> awesome. Let's see what we got up here. Oh. It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to my exclusive clubhouse. You got the spark. That's why I singled you out. What spark? Ah, the conduit of mystery of art. People like us have a responsibility to keep the world alive. Give folks a taste of the extraordinary. You see, kid, the world's like a bowl of rice. It's got substance, but it ain't worth nothing without a good, susty sauce. That's where I come in. Didn't you ever wonder who put these treasure chests in the old mine shaft? I like to give people surprises. You'll understand someday. Just keep doing your best and never give up. Thank you. Let's see what we can unlock with the coins. Oh, there's eh, nothing I really want. Okay. I mean, the top hat looks pretty cool in that rare crow, but thank you, though. It was cool to unlock this little area. All right, we're going to plant these, and then probably by then the night market will be open, so we can head down there. All right, we got everything planted. We're going to head down to the night market and see if we can get anything good. I think we'll try this fishing here in a minute, too. I want to see what the traveling cart has. That's a cool picture. Yes, we're going to take this garlic because we can make garlic seeds. Thank you. I wanted that. I want that. Because we're not supposed to get that till year two, I don't think. I bought five melon seeds. The cone hat is the cheapest today, but I don't want it. Let's try this fishing thing. I want to see how this works out. Thousand gold, okay. But we can probably get some cool fish, sell it, make our money back. If not, it'll just be cool to have these fish. Midnight squid. Seaweed, 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 seaweed. Finally, a fish. Ooh, a spook fish. Never caught that before. Another spook fish. All right, we got another spook fish, and our treasure is... Ooh, a diamond and some copper. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to use that diamond to make that geode crusher. That'll be nice. 
Another midnight squid. Seaweed. All right, we're gonna go back up because we don't wanna get home too late. All right, I'm gonna have this person send us back to the farm for 250 gold. All right, let's make this geode crusher. There we go, we just made it. And for the geode crusher, all you need is your geode and one piece of coal, and you can crush your own geodes. Takes one hour, but hey, that's good. Ooh, two garlic seeds from that, nice. All right, what a fun day. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. I don't know how that guy's sitting on the rock like that, but that was the last item we needed. That was awesome, 3,800 gold. Well. We're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was awesome to finally complete the Joja Mart bundles. Stay tuned as we'll eventually marry Abigail. And now that we have gotten our hearts all the way filled up with Shane, we will get that blue chicken. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace.